You got Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre doing another album together. Say word. And I sit there. Say uh, word. I was blessed, man, to sit there the other day. Hold on, I, man. Hold on, hold on. You just tried to say that like that was nothing. Hold on, hold on. So, I man, hope man, I didn't say it. You like, slick as hell. I hope I didn't Boy, say it. Boy, you slick as hell, man. Uh, he, you saw, y'all, heard, y'all saw how he just tried to. Uh, yeah, they, hold on. Uh, we're going to uh, rewind that. Uh, Whatever camera that we rewind that. It's Bryce Davis on the check in. And we got a new interview with Death Row founder Harry O as he sits down with NBA legend Kevin Garnett. He mentions that he was in the studio with Dr. Dre and Snoop and said that the two are working on an album together. Now, me personally, I said in a previous video, I don't got no faith in Dr. Dre dropping another album. I mean, I know he said he recorded over 200 songs during the pandemic, but I can damn near guarantee we're not going to hear a single track. And in the past, he duped us with Detox so many times for so many years that I lost faith. I mean, aside from the Compton album that was more like a compilation, I don't think we're ever going to get another album from Dre, but that's just my personal opinion. Anyway, make sure you like and subscribe. 30 years of the chronic, when you see this, when every time you walk past this or somebody puts this on and you hear a song from this, what, what comes to mind when you think of it? Great memories and uh, just a strong sense of pride. Word. This album raised a bunch of, bunch of individuals, bunch of grown, bunch of kids, bunch of, I don't even know that, you know, the power of music, man, not just from Snoop and Dre, but everybody that was a part of this project. Yeah, that's, and that's what the, that film, we gonna do a 20 part series about the making 20? of it. 20? Yeah, yeah, it's that deep, bro. It's got, you know, I mean, come on, don't cut a show. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing. That's right. And so, and so that means that, like you say, it was a lot of people that participated in that. And a lot of them didn't get their flowers. Oh, wow. And some of them did, and to a certain level. But now I think this series allows people to really see them mm. as the individuals they were. I mean, you're talking about producers, engineers, you're talking about all people, different people behind the scenes, wow. publicists, wow. promoters, street promoters. You know, it was, it's, it's, it's a story. It, it, it don't just talk about the music, but mainly talk about what it took to make that music what it was. But it talks about that whole environment. Mm. What was taking place during that time? Why was this music, this particular music created? And and, and, and why does it resonate? And so I just think it's a, it's a historical project, not just because I'm involved in it, because it is. It is. And I just think that it's gonna be a lot to be learned from uh, bringing it out. And I'm excited about it. Wow, that's crazy. So, uh, we all excited about it. I am. I'm excited just hearing it, sitting here listening to it. It hits me sometimes when I'm sitting with Dre and Snoop and, and just watching the, these guys who them became icons. Yeah, man. I was talking to Doc the other day and just just I talked to all the Death Row family and so, and, and we're gonna all come together and do some incredible things. Love it. Because all of it has grown from our different journeys. There's multiple stories that will be told. Um, and that we will make sure that everybody that was a part of something gets what they got coming. Dope. And and open the door for the young. We're not gonna get in the way of the young talent. You know, dope. we wanna be open to that. We wanna be international as well. You know, dope. we wanna definitely go to a whole nother level. Yes. So to come back with something I helped create 30, 33 years ago, 30 years, over 30 years ago. Wow. It's a 30th anniversary coming from the release of The Chronic. Oh, wow. And now you got Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre doing another album together. Say word. And I sit there. Say uh, word. I was blessed, man, to sit there the other day. Hold on, I, man. Hold on, hold on. You just tried to say that like that was nothing. Hold on, hold on. So, I man, hope I didn't on. say you it. Slick like, as hell. I hope I didn't Boy, say it. Boy, you slick like, as hell, man. Uh, he, you saw, <laughs> y'all, heard, y'all saw how he just tried to. Uh, yeah, they, hold on. Uh, we're going to uh, rewind that. Yeah. Whatever camera that we wind that. And now you got Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre doing another album. I hope I didn't say it like it wasn't just nothing. Oh, I hope it. it. Yeah, you it said it real slick. Just, look, I don't know if I'm, if I'm spilling the beans, but I'm trying to tell you, bro, sitting in that room. We got a certified today. We got a certified exclusive that Dre and uh, Snoop back in the lab together. What? Game over. <sighs> I'm talking about like, wow. like chronic back in the room. Oh, that's what we're doing. What? We're going back into that genius. Sound like Dre there. That's, that's what we're we doing, Mike. That's what we're doing. We're going back into <laughs> yeah. that genius. Yo, oh, man, I'm talking about to, to watch them at work. Mm. The doctor wow. is a beast. 